Hi, here we are again um, in Xcode. We're going to talk a little more about this weather app. Um, so far, you know, I have uh, I have everything laid out in Storyboard, and in the last two videos, what I did is I connected these elements in Storyboard to my view controller with IB outlets. So I created the IB outlets, and you can see them here. And then in the last video, I did a little test where, you know, I set the value of the text property for the label outlets to display different text in the, um, you know, on the, on the app when it was running. Okay, and so we saw, you know, the text change to these values. Now, this last IB outlet here is the image, okay? And so this is not a label, it's a, it's a UI image um, object and um, it acts a little differently than the label. So what would we do if we wanted to get the picture to change inside a UI image, okay? Well, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, looking at my, at my, my library here of, of images, I have created a group here and I've got these images in the group and I have a couple small versions of the weather image and then I have this large one and that's what we're seeing on the screen. Um, and then here's another small one. Um, you know, to change it, I'll need another large picture here, and I have a few in the folder, okay? So uh, here's my folder here with my artwork for my weather project, right? And if I want to include these in my Xcode project, what I need to do is I need to select them and um, drag them into the project here, okay? So I'll just drag them into the, into the project window. And... Xcode is going to open up this dialog box here asking me, um, you know, about adding these files to the project, okay? So, so what we never do is we never um, drag the files directly into the Xcode folder, okay? So, um, you know, if I had these files here, the, the folder I'm really working in is this one here that says weather mockup, you know, IB outlets. And so I would not drag the files into that folder. I have to drag them into the, the project window, okay? Um, otherwise, Xcode won't be the, you know won't be able to be aware of them, and it won't include them in your project, even if they're in the folder. Okay, so um, when I get this dialog box here, there's a couple things I want to make sure are checked. Okay, so the first one is I want to check the destination here and make sure it says copy items if needed. And what's going to happen is it's going to copy all those files into the project folder and leave the originals here in this folder. Okay, and that's probably the best option for most cases. Okay, and sometimes that'll be checked and sometimes it's not checked. I'm not quite sure why that happens, but, um, you know, it's kind of random sometimes. Most of the time it's checked and every once in a while it's not checked. And so you want to you want to make sure that that's checked usually. Okay, so the next the next um, option down here is it says add to targets. So the target is the app that we're going to build. And so when we build the app, we want these files to be included with that app, okay? So we want to make sure that this first one is checked, okay? So if this or this is not checked, check it. And if they are checked, you can leave it alone, okay? So now I'm going to click Finish. And you can see that Xcode adds all my files into the folder here, okay? Now, um, I have a little bit of a problem because I created this image here, and the original image is 555 wide by only 361 tall. And all the new images that I just added are larger. So you can see when I click on this one, for some reason it's not giving me the dimensions today. Maybe if I close that and open it up again or click on something else. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, it's not giving me the dimensions here um, right now. But uh, but these images are actually larger. They're um, you know, if I can look at them here, um, they're um, 555 by 547 tall. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of a problem if I assign an image to um, to this image view here, and it's a different dimension, right? So um, so what I want to do is, um, well, let's just test that right now. So really, maybe it's not raining. I want to switch this to um, one of the other images. And you can see when I go into Storyboard, you know, if I cl click on the image view and I go up here to the image, you can see all of my images should be listed here, right? 
So these are all the new images there, and if I pick one of them, you can see that the dimensions are kind of not right. Um, let's try another one, right? Yeah, you can see like these are all distorted, right? So when I put the image in the image view, um, these images are taller, so they get scaled vertically to fit. And, you know, the option here, the mode says scale to fill, right? So maybe I want to switch this and try some of the other ones, right? Well, there's aspect fit. So that fits to the largest dimension, right? Now it's a little too small. And there's aspect fill. So that's a little better, but it's getting cropped at the bottom, right? So, um, you know, I want to, you know, check these and, you know, pick the one that's best suited for the images that I have. I think what I want to use for these pictures is aspect fill. And then I'll need to make this, this um, UI image view a little bit taller in order for it to um, to have enough room to hold the images. So my images are roughly, they're, they're almost square, they're a little bit shorter than they are wide. Um, so now this box is gonna probably work a little better for those, right? I can test a couple other images out and they seem to be, oh, oh wait, that one's getting a little bit cropped at the bottom. Let's make it this a little bit taller. And so I'll go there and then maybe Maybe I can nudge it down a little bit so it's in the right spot. I'm just using the arrow key there. So um, so there we go. I've got everything kind of set up. Let's try another image here. That looks pretty good. So I got another problem here. Now that this this UI view here or UI image view, you know, is a little taller, it's overlapping the name and the description there, and it makes those hard to select. If I look at the outline view here, you can see that the image view is here, right? I can tell that's the image view because of the icon, right? And the uh, the city name and the description, the weather description is below it. So these are behind the elements that are lower down on the list. So maybe, you know, I'll move this up to the top here like that. And now the image view will be, will be behind the two labels there. And I'll be able to click on those labels, right? So, you know, you keep keep track of your, your outline view here to, um, you know, make sure everything's arranged, right? Okay, so there's our, there's our image, right? So let's do one last... Um, thing here. So if we want to access images that are in the folder here, right? So maybe, you know, um, you know, I, I set the uh, the options here to, you know, a light rain in Paris, right? Right. So what I want to do is maybe let's find um, an image here that represents the light rain, right? So maybe it's supposed to be this picture here or maybe um, maybe this one, right? <clears throat> And this, this image is, is 10d.png, okay? So that's the name. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to assign that to this weather image um, outlet, which is my UI image view, right? So maybe in view did load, what I'll do is I'll say, um, you know, weather image, right? So I'm just waiting for the code hints to pop up, right? Oh, and then I see that that's a UI image view and it's the weather image. So I'll just hit return. And what I want to do is I want to set the image property. So I'll start typing image and you can see image shows up there and then it says it's type UI image. Okay, so I'll hit return. And what I need to do is I need to assign a UI image to the, the weather image property. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in UI image and I'm essentially just gonna make a new um, UI image. So I'll hit return, and you can see UI image, you know, you can initialize it with a couple options here. So you can do um, uh, image, you know, with all these, all these various options here. And the one that I wanna use is I wanna use um, image named, okay? And so I'm gonna scroll down here until I find named, right? You see it says UI image named colon string, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna ignore the phone, right? But uh, um, I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna hit return and finish off that, um, that line. And, um, and then in named here, I'm gonna paste the name, okay? So uh, so now this is going to create a new instance of UI image with this name, and that should be the name of one of the image files in my 
my library here, right? Okay, so uh, let's save that and, uh, and then we'll test our project. So here, I'll, it's opening up the simulator. And there we go. And there's my, my light rain image, right? Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's, that's how we'd work with, with the image view, okay?